All right, boom. Wild one. Hey, it's the fur. Hello. How are you? I hope you're well. Chip man and man. And guess what? It is ranking time. It is ranking time. It is ranking time. <laughs> I know you've seen the title of the video, yeah? I am going to be ranking every single one of Arsenal's away shirts from the Premier League era. Before we get all the way into this video, yeah, make sure we hit a thumbs up on this one. If you're not already, subscribe to the channel. Yeah, big up every single one of you that subscribe to the channel, that watch my videos, that like the videos, and share my videos. Like the love recently, especially, has been top level, man. Big you lot all up. Done one of these before. I ranked all the home shirts uh, around this time last year. Um, I'll link it up there for you so you can go and watch it if you haven't already seen it. I've got every away shirt. And uh, yeah, man, I'm gonna rank them. There's 29 shirts, so some of them I will just rattle through because there's quite a lot. 29, I'm gonna start off with this one. It's our 2014-15 uh, away shirt. This is the one we won the FA Cup in, I'm sure it was against Villa. Alexis Sanchez was on absolute fire. Um, I just don't like this shirt at all. I'm pretty sure, I'm 99% sure that this was my least favorite home shirt as well. The home version, exactly the same. This one, I suppose, is slightly better because the colors pop out a little bit more than the home one. But yeah, man, that Puma era was a bit weird. 28, I'm gonna go with this one, the 17, 18. Um, yeah, Puma era was weird. 27th, no surprise here. It's another Puma one, the 2018-19. Uh, this one is okay. I quite like the dark blue and the burgundy. Um, but again, not overly impressed with this one. 26th, I've gone with... This one, the 0809. Um, I know a lot of Arsenal fans are probably sitting there thinking, but no, this is the Andre Sharvin 4. Just the colours are a bit weird. It looks a bit clownish. I quite like the name set on it, uh, Bentner on the back. But this one is pretty meaty. It is what it is. In 25th, this one is going to upset some people. But I've gone with this white one from the 07 08 season. Uh, Herbert Chapman, special in white with the gold um, name set on the back. It is quite a nice shirt, um, but I'm not a lover of white shirts. It's all right. Um, yeah, don't really have too much to say about this one. In 24th. We have got the 2010-11 away. I don't like the colours. The home one's fairly nice. Um, but yeah, I'm not a lover of the colours of this one, if I'm honest. It's all right. It's just, yeah, football shirt. It's funny because I've actually got three of them. <laughs> but um, yeah, this one. The 2010-11 in 24th. 23rd, I have gone with this one, which is the 16-17 away shirt. For a Puma one, it's okay. Um, Giroud on the back. I just quite like the collar and the design on the arm and the grey and yellow pop off each other. And it's definitely a nod back to... Um, an era around the 06, 07 sort of era, um, 05, 06 away. It's all right. It's one of the better Puma ones. So in 22nd, we have got this one, the uh, 0910. It's all right. It's a, it's, a, it's a pretty standard shirt. The dark blue and the light blue pinstripes, all right. 
it's all right. I wasn't too fond of the collar, but solid enough shirt. In 21st, I've got, I think, the highest rated Puma one, which is this um, 2015-16 away, Chamberlain on the back. This was probably the best Puma shirt that they released. Uh, with the navy blue and gold. I think gold shirts win, especially when it's partnered with um, a dark colour, either black or blue. Pretty nice. Um, yeah. Decent. For Puma, anyway. In 20th, again, I'm going to upset some people, but I don't care. It's my list. If you don't like it, deal with it in the comments below. Yeah, you tell me your list and what order you'd put them in because in 20th I have gone for the 0506 away shirt um those of you that know me well I am not a lover of the T90 template I, I don't love it yes it has got Henri on the back which does redeem it a little bit but as a shirt purely objectively I don't like it the material is horrible the, the yellow and red on it make it look a bit juvenile. It looks a bit childish, if I'm honest. Good times in this shirt, but nah. Sorry, mate. 19th, we've got the 0607. Um, yeah. So this one was the second one of exactly the same shirt from the year before, just with the change sponsor. It's all right. Um, and like I said, this one is quite similar with the yellow and the grey, but yeah, it's, 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 it's an alright shirt. Not too much to say about it. So, in 18th, I've got the 1112 um, 125 year anniversary shirt. Meh. It's alright. I'm not a lover of the blue and the dark blue across it. I quite like the badge. The badge is nice. Um, the home one is mwah, top draws. The season when uh, Thierry Henry came back. This one's got Rosiski on the back. In 17, I have got the 2020-21 away. And this one really did divide opinion. It does look a little bit like someone's had a bit of a nosebleed on it but i quite like it um it's to symbolize the marble floors of highbury in it um yeah man it's a good shirt good memories in this one decent memories smith row and he broke through yeah man i quite like this one in 16 i've got a controversial one the 2012 13 at first, not even at first, up until I actually got my hands on this shirt, probably about a year and a half ago, I didn't like it. I didn't get the purple and the black. I thought it looked ugly with the weird red sleeves. But after owning it, this shirt actually bangs. I don't know what it is. I don't know whether it's the, um, the horizontal stripes or I, I don't know what it is about it. But I really like it. I enjoy wearing it. Got Abu Dhabi on the back. Banger. Just not as banging as the other 15 above it, but banger. In 15, I have got the 0304 away shirt. Yes, the, the shirt that we went invincible in. The away shirt from the invincible season is only 15th in my list. Yes. And it does have Burkamp on the back. The material's horrid. Um, it's just a yellow shirt with blue trim. I'm not really sure what the neckline's about. It's decent. To be honest, it's only this high because it was the invincible shirt and what it means. But if I was basing it purely objectively on what it looked like, it would be a lot lower. I think this is as bad as some of the uh, as I think this is as bad as some of the Puma kits. But um, yeah, that's number 15. In 14, I've got the 0506 away. Um, 
I know you're probably looking at me like this is essentially the same as this one, but I just think the O2 sponsor works ever so slightly better on this one than the uh, than the Fly Emirates, and this one's got Henri on the back. This one's got Fabregas, but yeah, it's got the go on. In 13th, I have got the 13-14 away shirt. This is a really nice shirt. I quite like the collar and the button up. Uh, I've got a few shirts for this template, not Arsenal. It's nice. Uh, this is the last away kit that Knight made for us. Love the name set on the back of this. The, the cup font on this, the name set, is really, really nice. Um, yeah, this was the last good kit for quite a long time before Puma took over. Um, it's only so low because I just like the other ones more. Um, but yeah, th this is a very, very solid shirt. I do like this one a lot. Next, in 12, we have the 99-2000 Sega shirt. I know, a lot of you are going to be getting on to me. Oh my gosh, how can you have this Sega shirt so low? It's not the greatest design in the world. Um, it's decent. We had very, very good times in this. Um, I've actually got another one and it's way to me now with a wheel toad on the back, which is pretty sick because this is actually my one as a kid. So I've upgraded and got one that's uh, my size, but it's all right. I, I don't know what else to say. It's decent. In 11th, carrying on the theme of yellow shirts, we have got the 2021-22 away shirt. This shirt is clean. Um, I really like it. I really like the Canon. Um, I quite like the light blue, uh, the light yellow color, like almost like a lemony color with a red trim. Good shirt. Play some good football in this shirt. Yeah, man, 11. Now we're into the top 10. And I would say every single one of these shirts in this top 10 are bangers. I wouldn't argue too much with anyone if they said that one of these top 10 shirts was their favorite Arsenal away shirt of the Premier League era. And uh, kicking off the top 10, we're gonna go with the return of Adidas. Yeah, the 2019-20 away Bruce Banana remake. And this shirt really calls the storm when it first came out. Everyone was buzzing for it, and they still hold quite a lot of value even now. Um, yeah, man, great shirt. Buzzing when we got back with Adidas and we got this. In ninth, I think some of you will be surprised that it's so low, but there are more that I just like a little bit more. And we've got <clears throat> the 94-95 away shirt, Drake Ramberg special, the lightning bolt, absolute banger this is the first ever arsenal shirt that i own the home one and the away one cracking shirt love it it's just eight others that i prefer in eighth we have got the 96 97 away shirt again this one's absolutely banging i think i even slightly prefer this yellow one to the home red one the name set on the back of it is absolutely mwah. Um, Tony Adams, Mr. Arsenal on the back. I just love the detail in the cannon subliminated into the shirt, the blue sleeves, everything about this shirt just screams hybrid and class. In seventh, I've got the 0203 with that crazy design on it. I've heard quite a lot of people talking about how they don't like this shirt. I think this shirt's banging. I love it. I remember even when it came out when I was a kid and um, I had a choice between this one and the home one and I definitely got this. And even since becoming a collector, I've actually gone out and collected um, all of the other teams other than Leeds that use this same design and pattern. So Porto had one, Valencia had one, uh, Inter Milan had one. Arsenal obviously had one and Leeds, but we're not getting the Leeds one because, you know, they're English and they're in the Premier League. In sixth, we have got the 0102 absolute banger. 
Um, this is the Sega shirt that really gets me excited. Um, shame it's got Ashley Cole on the back, but whatever. Yeah, man, the gold and the navy blue, just like I was saying about that Puma one, the gold and navy blue, I don't think you can go wrong the same way that you can't really go wrong with uh, black and gold. Um, yeah, man. Let's not talk about the shirt that they released the season after when they changed the sponsor from Sega to O2. Let's just, shh, let's not say anything about that one. In fifth, we have got the 07, 09 away shirt. This shirt is a banger. I love this template. Any of you that have been around on my social media or whatever, know that I love this, tem uh, love this template. Um, I've got seven or eight, maybe even nine different shirts that I've got this template. I've got uh, the Holland 98. I've got the Russia 98. I've got the Portugal one using the same template. Um, Napoli. Haven't got the Boca Juniors one yet, but the Boca Junior one's fire. Who else uses template? There's so many. And uh, Dortmund template is absolutely crazy but in regards to the arsenal it's yellow i like the random blue sash across the middle with uh the red highlights um yeah six shirt manny petit on the on the back and this just reminds me of that that afternoon in 1997 when we went up to Old Trafford and Overmar scored that goal to basically win us the league and the double that season. Banger. Love this shirt. I mean, this could have easily been my number one, but it's fifth. In fourth, we have got the 2022-23 away shirt. Absolute banger. Yeah, I voted this very high in my 2022-23 away shirts video um what a shirt even with the the goldy kind of bronze name set it just just pops the the design on the ins um subliminated into the shirt is like it's just I, i'm lost for words the only slight criticism that i would have with this shirt is the random grey Adidas stripes. I know it's trying to tie in with the, the colour deep inside the shirt, but they should have just made it this colour. But absolute winner. Love this shirt. Could have easily been number one, but there were just three other shirts that I prefer just a little bit more. We are into the top three, right? We are in to the top three. And... I know I said all of the top 10 could have been number one and I wouldn't argue too much. Like genuinely, I kind of just closed my eyes with these three and just picked which one and put them in a random order and I just went with it because I can't really choose between these three. In third, this could have easily been number one and I think it would make a lot of people's first. Uh, first choice shirt because of the stigma that it's got recently and the hype around it and just the sheer value of it right we have got the 1992-1993 Arsenal's first ever away shirt in the Premier League we actually used it for the season before that as well when, uh, when it was uh, the Division 1 the Bruised Banana um, this is actually an original one from uh, the 90s as well. This wasn't uh, a re-release when Adidas redone it. Shirt bangs. Like, the design is proper, proper out there. Um, everyone loves it now. Apparently, it wasn't well received back in the day. But it gets the love that it deserves now. And like I said, a lot of people would probably have this as their number one. Um, shout out Kitman and Mrs. for buying this for my birthday. Absolute banger. Could have easily been my number one. Like, even just down to... Like, you probably can't see it in the video, but it's got, like, AFC, like, deeply subliminated in there when he catches the right light. Banger. Banger. The 92-93 away shirt. 
Uh, this is actually an original one, by the way. This isn't one from the, the re-release that Adidas done recently. But the Adidas equipment shirts from this era were just top draw, man. I love the way how the Adidas comes from the bottom and from the top um, with the red JVC, the neckline. Everything about this shirt just, oh, man, absolute banger. And it looks good on as well, man. I do love this shirt. Only one shirt left as number one and you guessed it i'm pretty sure quite a lot of you would have had this as your number one as well right we have got the 95 96 away shirt the second lightning strike one with the light blue and dark blue and i don't think much needs to be said about this shirt the subliminated old badge in it the lightning strikes um yeah man drake ramberg you are absolute g for this one massive burkamp vibes from this one this is the season that he signed easily our best away shirt so that's it i've had fun ranking in front of you right let me know if you agree comment down below let me know your list what position you put all of these shirts in right make sure you hit a like on this make sure you subscribe to the channel turn on the bell notification right i've been kit man and man and until next time peace